What's up, guys? It's your boy, Mo Ronnie. Everybody wants to see a little bit more of that. Anyways, bullshit aside, this is my tier list for the amps in the full release version of the Outlast Trials. It's a really good game. Get your friends together or play by yourself and play this fucking game. It's fun. It's not, it's not anything crazy. It's not going to blow your mind, but it's a really fun game. And if you have any problems with it, there was only 48 people that made this game stop bitching. Anyways, let's get right into it. So first off, we're starting off with Slippers. I think Slippers is a very solid amp. Whenever you walk on glass, it doesn't make noise. Whenever you crouch walk on glass, it doesn't make noise. Whenever you run on it, jump on it, stuff like that. Yeah, it'll make noise. It used to be better. It used to be like, oh yeah, you can run over it and not make noise. Kind of busted if you think about it. I'm putting an A. Just such a solid perk right off the rip. Like this amp literally goes crazy, goes stupid, goes ridiculous mode. Uh, I think it's a very strong start to all the skill trees. This one right here is the tool tree, by the way. So the next part, the next one in the tool tree is cacophony. Cacophony is cool because whenever you have a bottle or a brick, it makes a lot of noise. Um, the bottle itself is already pretty loud, so it's not really a thing that's necessary to make noise. But the brick, the brick's kind of sick. The brick is sick, you know, you can throw it on the ground, it doesn't get damaged. If somebody's in like the same like room, maybe two room radius, they'll hear it. Otherwise, it's not really that worth it, to be honest. I'll put it at B because it's pretty badass when it works. But you can do better. You can do, you can do slippers. So, what can I say? The next perk in this tree is noise reduction. Now noise reduction used to be like really strong and it still is. It's still an A plus perk. If you get it, you should. You're sprinting, walking, jumping, all noises that you make is basically muffled a little bit. It's just such a good strong perk. You'll run next to enemies and they won't hear you. You'll run past enemies and they won't hear you. You can literally touch their ass cheek with your like your finger and just shove it right up in that motherfucker. They won't hear shit. They won't hear a goddamn thing. So, get it. You won't do wrong. The point of this whole tier list is to get A pluses, right? You want to get an A plus. You don't want to get damaged. You want to get nothing but positives on your report at the end of the day. This is to help you get there. This isn't a speed running thing. This isn't what the best perks are. All that stuff. I mean, technically, it is the best amps to get A pluses, but I digress. The next perk in this tree is battery charger. I think it's cool. That's why it's in the C tier. But honestly, what the fuck are you gonna do with it? Okay, cool. Yeah, I can. I can get my night vision back faster. Oh, that's sick. Cool. You ever heard of batteries? You ever heard of the the stun amp? You just throw the stun app every feet. You really need it. You'll get prescriptions to make it last longer. It's really not that neat. You know what? Screw this goddamn perk. Get the, get, get the hell down there. Okay? You don't really need this amp. It's not that useful. Um, if you really if you really feel like you need it, you can bring it. And it'll work. It's good. It's not like it's a bad amp. But it's not really necessary. You know? Once you get to the point where you don't really need it anymore, you'll get there in like 20 trials, you know? After like your 20th trial, you'll notice, oh, right off the rip, I don't need this anymore. What am I doing? I'm throwing. I could have something so much better. Like Lockbreaker. Lockbreaker, I'm trolling. It's not really that much better. But it's cool. Okay, it's really cool. You throw a brick at a, at a locked like item, and then bam, it opens up. Now you can use it. I don't remember if it actually depletes the brick at all. Probably does, but it's still cool that you can do it. Like, you can open up damn near everything if you find enough bricks to do so. Bamboo pop, it's open, you know. I'd say hey, if it works, it works. If you need to use it, you need to use it. Um, I'd say there are better. I'd say you can get noise reduction and you'll be so much better off. So don't worry about this one that much. It's good and it's definitely fun to use. Use it if you want to do it like that. Next one on the list is recycle. Recycle is cool. Uh, whenever you drink a health potion, you'll get it as a bottle. Whenever you have a bottle, you can make distractions. That's part of the next list. If you want to see that video, I'm going to have the link up um, up there, I'm pretty sure. It's going to be tips and tricks for the Outlast Trials full release. Um, the distractions and stuff like that, you know. Very necessary. Very necessary if you want A-pluses. 
one, distractions themselves give you points. Two, having a distraction keeps people off of um, like objectives and keeps them off of teammates, keeps them off of yourself, right? So just just use it if you want. I think it's a really solid perk just because of that. You get the two in one, you heal yourself, get points, you throw the ball, get distraction points. Bam, just like that, easy done. Um, next one is the key master, key master, Ooh, the key blade users everywhere are creaming their pants. It's not actually, please don't, Jesus Christ. Key master, I can't find it. Key master, right, right there, right there. I was looking for you. Key master is cool. It's really cool. You get a, you get this. First thing you unlock, instant unlocks. The second ones, uh, they, they, you use it two more times. You get three whole unlocks. That's cool. I'll put it in the same tier as this because they're basically kind of the same thing if you think about it. I think the degradation on the brick is like two if you do use it for this. If not, bam, just like that. Easy. Um, otherwise, you can definitely use something else. I mean, opening locked containers isn't the biggest thing in the world. You'll find a bunch of lockpicks if you want to do that already, but you get points for opening locks. So this one's nice just because of that. I'm going to put that above this one just for that very reason get more points unlocking it by themselves I don't think you get points for smashing it open with that I don't remember don't stone me okay just in case I'm wrong uh, the next one is backpack this one opens up another inventory stop that one's huge it's going in the D tier I'm putting it above this one though because it's kind of cool I wish I could put this higher because then when you have your prescription ready you'll have five whole slots and then you'll be so set up, you'll have a whole carrying case for literally everything you would need. But unfortunately, it's just beaten out by noise reduction. And literally almost everything else in this list, like this whole tier, this whole tree, you don't need it. You really don't need it. You can do better. Um, but continuing onward, uh, we have the skill tree kind of funny name for it but the skill tree starts off with hide and breathe hide and breathe is cool you jump into a locker or another container like that and you recover your stamina faster but you also receive an adrenaline boost and there's a cooldown period for it it's almost instantaneous it's nice to have but it's not really anything that you need to have so i'm putting it right here because it's cool otherwise not that big of a deal we need the adrenaline jumping into a locker jumping out kind of fun um hide and heal though enter hide spray or uh, you enter hide spot to restore one like chunk of health like that and if you need to if you have like let's say like two and a half chunks or no sorry let's say you have one and a half chunks you you will have two and a half chunks and then you'll slowly or like you'll quickly heal that third chunk bam like that um I don't think it completely heals you all the way. If it did, I'd say then it would be worth it. But unfortunately, I can't really see it being anything better than B. I want to say. It hurts to say that too, because I think it's a really cool perk. But I don't think it's going to do you anything good. Now the next one up is this one. Lock and or hide and restore hide and restore yeah it's going in the d tier even though technically it's cool like my my like blind mind will be 120 seconds or something like that you'll jump into a barrel and it'll cost 60 seconds instead and just be up like that it has the time for your rig recharge right but at the same time, that's 60 seconds you're going to stay seated inside of a barrel or inside of a locker instead of actually going out and doing objectives, which is probably your most important thing. And even somebody might pull up and just look in the barrel and absolutely ruin your whole day. And then you'll lose more points than you'll have been gaining. So not really that good. It's fun to use when you have a group of people that can take the heat off. But otherwise, just use something else. It's, uh, it's That's the name of the game, really. Use something else. Quick escape. This one's A+. Plus. This one's A+. Plus. If you're speed running. If you're not speed running, do not bring this. If you want A+, pluses, bring something else. 
This one, unfortunately, I'll give I'll give a C. I'll give a C for speed running. It's a stretch. I'm sorry. Take damage. Go faster. It's cool. If you're speed running, it makes sense why you would run this. You're not trying to worry about grades. You're just trying to worry about speed, time, how much time you're spending inside that trial. The next one up is invisible. Invisible, you jump into a barrel, a locker, whatever hiding spot you need, and you are basically invisible for a couple of seconds. They'll lose chase with you. You'll peek out. They won't see it. The only issue I have with it is if you're solo running, sometimes if you don't run far enough or out of their line of sight enough, or even sometimes when you do, you'll run into a locker and then they'll kind of stop in front of you and start wandering, and then they'll just check the locker you're in. It's like, well, what the fuck was the point of that? You know, I think this is cool if it works. If it works, it's cool. If it works for you, then it's probably a B or an A tier, honestly. So I'll let you decide with that one. I think all of these you can experiment with, and it'll work out for you. But this one just hadn't worked. It just doesn't work for me. It just doesn't work for me. I'm sorry. If it works for you, give it a shot. Door trap breaker. This one's cool. You open a door like regularly it disarms the disarms the like uh, the trap on it or if you bash the door open it just blows up the trap itself works really good and it's an a tier perk like honestly it does it does its job right um would i say it does its job in spades i think i could say that i don't say i don't think it's an a plus but i think it does a really good job for what it is i think it's really solid and honestly, you can't go wrong with choosing it. Um, Smash is my favorite perk. And it's not favoritism that's making me put it up here. It's just undeniably the best perk, I think, in the skill tree. Um, this amp is uh, you bash through doors and barricades with one hit. And it's just that simple. Um, it helps you get points because every time you bash one of those things in, you get points. Whenever you're in a chase, you bash through a door, it's instantaneous, you don't get hit. That's the important part. So I think it's actually a really freaking solid perk. I think you should bring it with you. Um, I say it's anything below A+, plus as far as the skill tree is concerned, probably not. I think it's really good. Um, the next perk would have been a contender if it didn't get the huge nerf it did in the alpha version. Here we go. Strong arm. Strong arm is an A perk. Right here. It goes above this one. Um, it makes it so that your bottles and your bricks stun. And not only do they stun, they stun for a long time. Especially on like the smaller tiered like enemies. Like you'll throw a brick at let's say the I think the witness, I think it's called, in like one of the courthouse trial ones. So let's say you you start shocking the witness, bam! You get the shock off. You turn to the brick. You aim for the head. Once he starts charging you, you throw that bitch at his head. Or even if he doesn't, because sometimes he just runs away. So as soon as you shock him, you can throw the brick at his head. Bop. Um. He'll be set up. Uh. Then you just shock him again, and he's gone. Um. You can even shock him twice, because I know for a fact that's how it happened for me. But sometimes it's just it's weird. Anyways, um, it's really good for that reason. It doesn't work on the big X fobs like um, the Warden or the Mad Lady. I forget their names right now. I really am drawing a huge blank, but the pictures, I'll put them up there. If you're up against these people, headshotting them with a brick won't really do anything that crazy. It'll like, knock them back a little bit, but then they'll just get right back to chasing your goofy ass if you're even trying. Um, it's really cool for that reason, but... It got nerfed. It got nerfed so that bricks now will shatter instantly once you do it. And then you're just kind of SOL'd. Um, if it didn't, if it was like the old days where bricks had three charges and also every single time you would hit them, you could pick them off the floor, you know. Then it would be an A++ tier perk. It would be the best perk in the game. The best amp ever. But unfortunately, that's not the reality we live in. It's just not. So right now it's getting the A tier. Next up, we have a different tree. That was the last of the skill tree. Now we're going into the medicine tree. And starting off with the medicine tree, we have 
double doses. You get a syringe, you can use it twice. If you're in solo, you won't get a syringe. Kind of a deter perk just for that. It's nice if you're in a team, but at the same time, you're also counting on somebody's downfall, which is something you shouldn't do. So I'd say don't even bother picking it up. I'm sorry, it's just the way it is. Um, maybe if it erased some of those stats or had such a hefty point boost that it would make it not matter, then I could see it, but it doesn't do that. Let's be real, it probably won't ever do that. So let's just say it doesn't exist at this point. Antitoxin is cool. I'd say it's a good B-tier perk. Only because when you get insanity, this makes it so that you recover from it faster. And if you're fully insane, you recover from that a lot faster too. And the problem with it is that if you are, if you catch s s insanity, you get rewarded for clearing it out. But this will make it so that you can't clear it out and get your reward back to even it out, basically. So if you're already on like an A plus run, and you step on a uh, like an insanity mine or a blast mine, whatever it's called. If you step on a blast mine, bam, the poof comes out. You get a little bit insane. You go find something to clean that up, like your little vape pen right here. It's good. You're fine. You're back at A plus again. You're not at B or whatever the hell it'll make you go at. I'm just joking. It's not that extreme, but you get it. With this, it makes it so that it's not really like that. It's nice quality of life for sure, and you could definitely even it out. But I'd say get something else. Um, surplus. This is very much so that something else. Surplus is an A tier perk. You start the trial with a random item, whether it's medis or um, a lockpick, a bottle, or a brick, you know. <sighs> you can't go wrong with it. Getting a 1 in 5 chance of getting something that you want, or even technically if you get something that can enable you getting something that you want. Pick it up. There's nothing wrong with bringing an extra item as soon as you walk in. I think it's a really good perk, and it deserves the A-tier spot. The next up right now is Last Chance. Last Chance is cool. Last Chance isn't necessary. Now, the thing about Last Chance is it is a thing that keeps you from getting one hit. So if you're on the higher tier levels after you get reborn, you're gonna find like stronger enemy variants and stuff like that, which makes the game a lot harder, a lot harder. But you don't really need it that much. I would say it's on the same plane though. I think it's still an A tier perk, or an amp, sorry. Uh, especially in the medicine tree. You, you can't go wrong with bringing it, but you don't really need it. Bring it if you want to. Bring it if you're scared you're gonna go down. Cause I'd rather you get one tappable and have the possibility of living and going down and maybe even executed and losing a ton of points just because of that we're trying to get a pluses remember guys <clears throat> okay so the next one up is night per incognito incognito used to be night person and night person used to be when you're in the darkness you crouch walk as fast as or even faster than you walk and you deplete your night vision a lot slower, like 50% slower or something like that. Now it's just your crouch walking speed is faster. I think this is an A tier perk. I think it's better than, I'll keep it right here. Cause these are about equal in my eyes. Um, all of them do really good things. This one's just a basic upgrade perk. You know, just because of that, I'm putting it right here. Cause when you have this, this perk right here, noise reduction, you're not really gonna need this much if you're crouching around. If you're crouching around with this on, you can do crouch jumping, which is a super OP movement mechanic that makes it so that you can just basically glide around as long as you aim yourself in the right spots and you aim away from glass. You'll be zooming in the darkness, zooming in the light when you're crouching. You won't even need this if that's the case. But if you want just a straight stat upgrade or if you wanted to run slippers because you're still like pretty new to it all, this is not a bad perk. This is a bad ass perk. Okay, I'm just being straight up. It's just a good perk. Okay, it's just a straight upgrade. You can't do anything wrong with that. The next perk up is good job. Now for the simps out there, they'll just want to be told they're a good boy. You're doing a good job. Whatever. I'm being really weird. 
whenever you finish an assignment, you get a health boost. Like you just get health right off the rip. It's good if you need the health. It's not really good if you don't need the health. You can also heal yourself and get points for healing yourself to kind of even the playing field out. I'd say it's a pretty badass perk if you need to. Like if it's down to the wire, you can't find any healing or maybe even there's a weak special where you can't find healing, bring this with you. It's gonna help you out a lot. Every time you finish an assignment, something that checks off, you're like completed, bam, instant healing. Just instantaneous health. You can't go wrong with it. Um, there's a cooldown before I can get it used again. I don't really know how long it was. I've gotten shit on because of it before. But it works. It works. And you can't you can't do nothing wrong with that. So boosted is the next perk. I think this perk is pretty pretty freaking amazing, dude. That's such a good perk. It makes it so that you get a health booster, stamina booster, or a night vision booster. I don't remember the name for it. I'm sorry. Battery booster? I think I just remembered it. Impressive. Yeah, you get one of those three, and uh, it's right off the rip, right off the start of the trial, and you <laughs> you just start off with a huge boon. Health booster makes it so that you have one extra health state. Um, battery booster makes it so that your night vision lasts like twice as long. And then stamina booster makes it so that you run forever, damn near. Um, so get it. It's self-explanatory. It's just a straight upgrade. It'll help you survive. It'll help you run longer. And it'll help you see for longer. Like, it's just get it. Honestly. It's just that good. And finally, we have self-revive. Um, this one's good. Can't say it's A-plus worthy. Especially if you're trying to get A-plus grades. You can do a lot better. You can get this. You can get this. You can get this. You can... You can even get night person, like, or, ah, damn, you can even get incognito. Like, I'd say I'm putting it in D, even though it's really strong for what it is. Let's say you're doing a challenge run, like one of those challenge trials and stuff, and you're, you guys are stuck. You guys are stuck on stuck. If you are stuck on stuck and you just want to get it finished, that's the amp right there. You get that on, bam, you're good to go. Otherwise, if you want to get an A plus rating for the for the assignment, don't get this. Do not. This is not the one to get. Okay, wait for something else. It makes it so that every time you die, you get a you get one free respawn, like one re free revive, and it's nice for that reason. But you're gonna be counting on your own downfall if you have it. So I'd say you can do a lot better. Um, that's the tier list right there in all of its glory. I'm going to save a little JPEG, put it in the description down below. I'm also putting it on my Twitter. I don't really use Twitter, though. That's just, that's just that's weird. There's a lot of weird motherfuckers on Twitter. Sorry. Not sorry. But this is the complete tier list right here. Uh, I've got it all kind of in order, but it's mostly like skill trees, you know. That's what I kind of wanted to keep it like so you can tell which one's which, where's what, you know. And I made sure that there was three perks that were just the best out of the skill trees for getting A-pluses, in my opinion. I think the Pikmin agree. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they agree. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I made sure it was as fast as possible. It's looking like it's, it's pretty damn long. That's it. I have a tips and tricks video that I mentioned earlier. Go watch that. Also, you, subs you should subscribe. Uh, because I'm a low, low subscriber content creator. I'm going to make more content. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be ridiculous shit. And I'm going to be doing a lot of crazy shit. You're going to want to see. You're going to want to see that shit. Okay, trust me. Um, That's about it. You want to see a little bit more Ronnie? Hit the bell. I'll see you guys later. Don't talk to strangers. Definitely make sure to wash your balls.